right, so Toronto gets the pick. What will happen on the men's side? Well, I think the men, LA, fortunately for them, comes in as the slight favorite. Toronto's got four good swimmers too, though, here. They're not gonna be bad. They're gonna be really good. DC's got a good relay. Again, this is where Iron just gets stuck, not being able to push into that top two or three. And again, DC would love to try to get a pick here. Again, a lot of people feel like tomorrow might come down to the skins and how much better of a spot will you be in if you have an event that you feel really good about. The good news, second and third, you still get a chance to throw one of the strokes out of the mix, so I'm sure that somebody is going to pick to pull the backstroke out of the skins and not let Toronto swim backstroke tomorrow on the women's side. I can't imagine that happening. Boy, how can you not like Toronto again? I, I, I just, LA is, it's going to be tough. Their A relay has Maxime Rooney anchoring. The problem he was 48 plus on their free relay. I mean, he's gonna have to go in with a lead with a Blake Peroni that can go two seconds faster on the end for Toronto. He outsplit Rooney by two seconds on the relay. So LA's gonna have to have a lead. And, you know, with Ryan leading off after just winning the 50 back. Another point five two on the start. Shane look Ryan. At Shane Ryan made it look so yeah. good on the left side, doesn't it? Just getting ready to say, look at Shane Ryan. We both said it. Shane Ryan did not have a great start, but boy, he is moving on. 24-4 going out. Out quickly. Only about a half of a tenth of a second ahead of Cristo from LA. And LA's got to keep pace here and somehow or another spring ahead at some point in a big way to give Maxime Rooney some breathing room because if Toronto goes in with the lead, Toronto will win this relay. They got the lead early by a half a second. Good start for Shane Ryan, 50.7. Schwing and Schlagel goes for Toronto now. He was 0.18 on the start, very tight on the start, but that's right where you want to be. If you're 0.1 something, that's a, that's a good quick start, and that's what you want to have. Franco Silva out of the lane number eight, chasing down, swinging Schlagel. About a half, uh, excuse me, a full second to make up, I should say. Toronto's still looking good. They've got some breathing room now on the bottom of the screen. LA starting to fall, fall further and further behind. Boy, what a juggernaut this team is starting to look like. Right, Bernie? If you yeah. look ahead, just start looking ahead. Energy's got to start looking around their shoulder now. I'm not sure Cali needs to quite yet, but boy, I tell you. Well, remember, the Titans really gave them a battle they early did. on in that first match. It went down to the wire. It did go down to the wire. So. This team could be, this, this team is starting to look like a Final Four team. It, it really is. And, and nobody's gonna catch them. It, it's not, I mean, you've got Tom Shields who's moved LA into a second, and then they'll be able to at least grab a 50 away from Toronto at this point it looks like, but this Toronto team, not only do they go in with a huge lead tomorrow, they get to pick skins of both the men and women. That'll be a big help for Byron McDonald. Good safe start there for Peroni. Boy, he made sure that he touched. He was .33 on the takeoff. Exactly what he needed to do. He didn't want to take any chances. He knows he's got some breathing room over there. He knows what he can do against Rooney. 
You can bet they said this is what Maxine Mooney did on the relay earlier. And Mooney three. looking a lot better though on this relay. And so lane much three. better. Zach Apple at the top and lane number eight. 22 flat on the way out for Rooney. He looks like a completely different swimmer. And here he comes. Rooney trying to charge home. Blake Peroni, though, says it is too little, too late. The Titans are champions in both relays, and they're going to pick both of the skins. Oh, wow. Well, Rooney was two seconds faster than he was on the free relay. And basically even split with Peroni. Peroni 46-3, Rooney is 46-4, but again, the most critical part of this is Toronto gets to choose the skins. Yep. They finished first and eighth, so it looks like LA is actually gonna score more points on this relay than Toronto, but that doesn't matter. What matters is we get to choose the skins. That's what we're telling ourselves if I'm Toronto. And if you are the Titans there, you see Curran outscored the Titans by two points. But the Titans do it work on the first day. They are in the lead with 284 and a half points. How about this first day for DC and the Triton? Fourth place in their first two matches.